Uh, to your row of level, five minutes in reply. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Firstly, can I acknowledge all of the uh, statements by, made by members of the House uh, this afternoon. Appreciate very much the support, it sounds like, across the House to, uh, to this bill. And can I just own up and say that uh, the work that I did was relatively minimal, uh, but acknowledge again Alan Tate, who was the uh, advisor uh, to the Trust, who uh, basically over the last couple of years has been doing, being the uh, uh, the communication person for myself uh, through my office and, of course, through the Trust. So uh, thank you to him. Um, some interesting points picked up on the discussion and with the couple of minutes that I've got just to wrap up, uh, just say that I'm sure that we will learn a lot of history when we go to Tauranga Mona and pick up um, um, much of the discussion when they present evidence in front of the Select Committee. It reminds me of another bill that we had in the House here uh, not long ago about that related to sewage pipes um, and, uh, in fact, a large chunk of area of land being handed back to Tauranga people, uh, which was originally taken for a sewage pond. Um, those sorts of things, I think, very much stick in the hearts of, of Māori people. But I, I do acknowledge the point that uh, Jonathan Young has made, uh, that, uh, sure, there were some good things that came with the arrival of the missionaries, uh, but I think th some things very much stick in the heart, especially if you've been hanging out for a long period of time to get your land back. This, for me, is a very important bill because I don't recall, and not that I'm the expert in it, Mr. Speaker, but there aren't too many times that the Anglican Church has handed back land to Māori people. Uh, but in my area, in my, uh, in my constituency, um, the, the Tūhoi people up at Maunga Pōhatsu, they received some land back from the Presbyterian Church, I think it was, uh, through Mr. Lawton, who had a close association with Rua Kenana uh, back in the day. Uh, and they set the scene a couple of years ago because they started handing ba land back, but there's a hell of a lot of land out there that's still under the auspices of a number of churches that have not come back to Māori people. And I hope that the precedent set, the precedent set with these sorts of bills is going to be some good news for years to come. Um, I don't think we can deny, too, some of the, the, the main uh, thought, uh, thoughts of the, the missionaries as they came to New Zealand because they pretty much set out in a lot of the doctrine that was set up at the time. And I'm thinking about my old school, St. Stephen's, uh, St. Stephen's School, Mr. Jones' uh, school as well, uh, that pretty much had a set uh, charter, if you like, which was about educating uh, the uh, uneducated, uneducated and indeed young Māori boys. Some of them were heathen. Mr. Jones, well, I'm not too sure about that, but nevertheless, he's all right. He was all right. He came good after a while, a couple of years at St. Stephen's good, uh, but, but he's sort of faded away a little bit since that time. Uh, uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Hone Harawera, another old boys, hmm, um, sort of similar pattern, uh, but nevertheless, uh, they, might have, they might come good at some point or other. Um, Mr. Speaker, uh, I have to say that I, I do cringe at times from some of the, the efforts that have been, or some of the uh, actions by the church and when I was teaching uh, treaty education, we always referred back to two sort of doctrines of the time of both the Catholic Church and the Anglican Church. One was called the Papal Bull, uh, set out by the Pope that, I suppose, set the scene for colonisation throughout the world. And the other one under the Anglican doctr doctrine was called the Requiremento. Requiremento meaning you, had to, you were required to read a certain statement. And both of those statements were about take the land, take the woman, and if anybody gets in the road, deal to them and do it in the name of God. Uh, and under those circumstances, well, we've got a lot of work to do uh, to sort of catch up against those sorts of things. Mr Speaker, I don't want to take up too much time, but I think the, the key point that was made by Alyssa Wall um, around the reconciliation process I think is important, um, that we are on that sort of uh, that line, and in particular the efforts around uh, settling tre treaty settlements and the work that's been done by uh, Mr Chris Finneson I think is along the way. And um, talking about the other 80%, it'll be interesting to see what, uh, as Lewis Wall said, uh, what the people in, uh, think about the other 80% of land that might come back to them. And for those who are travelling through Tauranga Mona, I think the easiest, place to the easiest way to find this place is to look for the best fish and chip shop in Tauranga Mona, down on the harbour. It's blinking nice fish and chips um, from, the people, from the Palmer Farm, now I think it is. They look after that fish and chip shop, uh, and I hope they give me free fish and chips when I go up there next time. Uh, but also the Seaball Motel is sitting right on that land. It's all been, I think, been reclaimed right on the harbour. If you're flying over there, I'm sure you can't miss it. I look forward to hearing the stories um, from the people up in Tauranga Mona and congratulate them for advancing this bill and I think today of, uh, uh, of the Kraiwara Jingas uh, Morehu uh, Morehu 
uh, the old crow up there at Maita Marawahu, I'm sure that'd be very, pretty proud to finally get this land back in their hands. Kanui te mihi, kia ora tata. Members, this debate has concluded. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. New Zealand Mission Trust Board, Otamataha Empowering Bill, first reading. The question is that the New Zealand Mission Trust Board, Otamata Empowering Bill, be considered by the Maori Affairs Committee. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Call on members, order of the day number one. Conservation Natural Heritage Protection Bill, committee stage. I declare the House in committee for consideration of the Conservation Natural Heritage Protection Bill. Mr Chairman. Mr Speaker. The House and Committee on the Constitution.